For the first time in 16 years, Wake County will have a new sheriff. The voters chose Gerald Baker last night. CBS 17's Michael Hyland spoke to the sheriff-elect. And Michael, what did he have to say to the people of the county? In just a few weeks, a man who used to work here for the sheriff will take his job from him. We got a chance to talk to the new sheriff today and had a chance to look at why this change is happening and what people in the community want to see the new sheriff do. Okay. For some immigrants in Wake County, the result Tuesday night is the culmination of years of work. They wanted to end Wake County's involvement in a federal program called 287G. Republican Sheriff Donnie Harrison supported it, working with ICE to perform some immigration enforcement activities. The primary concern is that families are being separated because of this program. Even after losing re-election, Harrison stood by the program. Would I change things? Uh, no, because I have seen too many results of people wanted that we would have missed. Democrat Gerald Baker worked for the sheriff's office for 28 years before retiring. He won the top job Tuesday night. Once you take office, will you end Wake County's involvement with the 287G program? Well, that's something that I committed to, uh, something that I uh, had a problem about before I even decided to run. Another factor in the race, the handling of the case involving Chiron Hinton. Two state troopers and a sheriff's deputy, Cameron Broadwell, face assault charges. The troopers lost their jobs. Deputy Broadwell did not. And I have told uh, Mr. Harrison that if he does not get rid of Broadwell, then we will get rid of him. And that what you saw last night. Baker says the deputy should have been fired, but now he wants to let the criminal case unfold. Um, I trust that our district attorney is going to pursue the matter and deal with it. Harrison defended his handling of the situation. Baker plans to take a closer look once he takes office in December. Sheriff Harrison hasn't decided what he'll do next. He has not ruled out running for office again at some point. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News.